Hi, welcome to another Mac 4 Quickie. This one's all about naming macros. Within your macro, for we're using an M3 for an example, you need to keep both of these macros identical. If you've got a capital M in this function, you need a capital M in this function. Now likewise with the actual function naming in the directory. So we use the Mac 4 mil macros. I've got it set down here as an M3. Lowercase this is. So if I go and run Mac 4 Run the Mac 4 mil one. If I enable the machine and go to the MDI, if I type M3 here, press cycle start, you'll notice the spindle hasn't started. Now watch what happens if I do this. If I go back into my profile, I don't want to rename it, I want to go in there, thank you. If I go back to the macro and delete the one it's compiled, so it compiles it again. If I rename this to an uppercase M, the same as what we've got in our function, run Mac 4 again. Now when I go to run the M3 command, you'll notice that the spindle has now come on. Now in the MDI itself, it doesn't matter if you use a capital or you use lowercase, it will still work. The difference is you've got to remember is all three, that bit here, that one and that one all wants to be identical. Now just to prove it the opposite way round, we'll leave this as a capital M3 and we'll go into our M3 function and we'll change this to a lowercase M3. Save it and run Mac4 again. Enable, go to our MDI, do an M3, and she's not working again. Won't get anything out of it. Once again, we can change this to a lowercase in here. If you ever wondered what the MCC is, it is your script, it's already been compiled. So change that to a lowercase, and if you ever wondered what the MC Lua one is, that's all your M codes compiled into one file. So now we've got everything in lowercase. Once again, in the MDI, I'll use a capital this time. She's now working again because all three of them names are identical. Well, that's it for this quickie. I'll see you in the next one.